this is a great way to start off this haul. I just picked up my tripod and literally it broke. Hey guys, so I'm actually going to start this video on my phone and then I'm going to go to my camera because I can't see in that little viewfinder in my camera if it's focused or not. And I always get comments attacking me for my camera being out of focus, which I know is annoying, but it's also like getting those comments about, you know, my quality being bad. So I'm just going to do this on my phone and then I'm going to film the actual collection with my camera because I can easily see if it's focused or not. You know what I'm saying? That makes more sense. But yeah, today we're doing a makeup collection. This is actually highly, highly requested. Every single time that I ask you guys on my Instagram, which you should go follow me at Sidster, what videos you guys want to see, a makeup collection always seems to be the one that you guys want to see. So I'm bringing that to you. Actually on my channel, this is the third makeup collection that I'm uploading because it seems like at the beginning of every single year, I make a makeup collection, which is great. So let's just get into this. Obviously, you guys know I'm not bragging. I don't think that anytime I watch one of these videos. So let's just get straight into it. All right, guys. So we are going to start with like my vanity section. You guys know what I'm talking about? So the first thing that we have starting on this side is my skincare fridge. If you guys watched my room transformation video, you guys know that I have this here because I got this for Christmas this year and I love it. So in here, I'll just give you guys a little tour. I have this witch hazel. And then, oh my god. We just have like some random skincare. So there we go. This rose skincare stuff. Then we have this from Glow Recipe. Again, if you guys know, if you guys watched my Me When You Go to Hawaii video, I told you guys that I'm not a big fan of this and I prefer the Clean and Clear. Some masks back here, some random like skincare and toners. And then up here I have all of my like Mario Badescu mini sprays. And I have two of these. I have a jade face roller which I've wanted for such a long time and I finally got one. And I don't even know the benefits of this but I roll my face every day. Also I got this one that has like the needles in it and I have no clue what this does for your skin either. That's it for the skincare fridge. Let's move over here. Okay, so this bad boy right here is an acrylic makeup organizer. Obviously, I'm stating the obvious. So over here, I just have like my mascaras and this is actually an eyebrow pencil that doesn't work, but I need to throw it away because I used to use the spoolie off of that. I have some tweezers in my eyebrow brush that I use every single day. I have my everyday foundation, which is the Dior Forever foundation. And then behind that, I have the concealer that I use. I don't wear concealer a lot because I don't like the way concealer looks under my eyes, but when I do, I use this one in the shade Warm Beige. I also have the Milk Makeup Blur Stick back here. It's dusty because I haven't used it in such a long time. Again, guys, I've told you this many times on my channel. I'm just not as into makeup as I used to be. Um, let's see if we move some of this stuff. I have liquid latex and some like just sponges back here. And then I have this Tatcha water cream, like some hand sanitizer, my dip brow that I use every day, some Vaseline, the peach powder, and then the Laura Mercier powder, another dip brow, some Too Faced mascara, and then I have this Milani blush that I was using for such a long time, and T-Rose I think. No, Romantic Rose, because I really liked for a while this color blush, which I still do like it. I honestly kind of want to start wearing that color blush again, because I really, really do like it. And then if you open up this drawer, I love it. I have all of my chapsticks, so I have like my Glossier chapsticks, my Capari one, and then I have like some Sour Patch Kid lip smackers, and I have a Burt's Bees one. My other like actual chapstick brand chapsticks are in my book bag. Then we just have me in this mirror and nothing special in my ring light. All right, guys, let's get into these drawers. So in here, I have the, these little like hair clip things that people use when they do their hair. I actually use these when I do my makeup in the morning. Um, that way I don't get like a hair tie ring around my whatever. So this is an organized mess. These are from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. 
hence the name. These are my primers. These are all of my primers that I have. These are like my setting sprays, except I have a random Tatcha Silk Canvas primer because it didn't fit anywhere else. Back here are like my eyeshadow primers, just random eye glitters. This that I have been looking for for such a long time, <laughs> and I just found it. <laughs> Um, these are like my eyeliners and concealers, and then these are my mascaras with two moisturizers in them. So the um, Glam Glow Nude Glow, which is my favorite, one of my favorite ever moisturizers. I'm so happy to have that back. And then my favorite moisturizer of all time, which is the Watermelon and Clean and Clear. Oh my god. Okay. This drawer is my foundation drawer. This is also organized in a super specific way, so this is actually Emily's foundation <laughs> that she left here, but these are my drugstore foundations, high-end foundations, and just my powders that I have that I don't use anymore. I got this when I was in seventh grade, and then my mom like took over this powder. All right, down here, this is just my blush and bronzer drawer. This isn't anything like so out of the ordinary. I mean, it kind of is, but like, I just have this Too Faced bronzer that I've had since 8th grade. This new edition that I thought wasn't going to be high quality, but I've honestly tried it. I haven't tried this. I've swatched this, though, and I don't know. I have the Chocolate Soleil bronzer already, so, I mean, I just reach for that instead of that. But this blush palette, guys, I was literally so surprised at the quality of this. I love this Marian Bright blush. This is a little too dark for me, a little too light, and I like this one but not a lot oh my god i got this because at one point i was super into elf and like wanting to do like affordable makeup which is so good to do but this just was not a good palette to do that with this palette though oh my god when i tell you guys this is way better than the anastasia oh <laughs> this is way better than the anastasia beverly hills cream contour like do not and i'm telling you right now do not buy this. It is so not good quality. I got this from TJ Maxx. That's the only reason that I, I got it. And it is so, like, this is way creamier and way easier to blend than this is. Welcome to my skincare drawer. That's, this is literally what, not my skincare drawer, but my face mask slash skincare drawer is. So, like, I got these makeup wipes for Christmas in my stocking. And I just put them in here because I already have two packs of makeup wipes. So I just have these that I kind of use to take off face masks with. They smell, oh my god, I'm like so bad at this. They smell like a pool and I love that. I don't know why. Someone please tell me why I like that smell. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So you guys saw in my fall, if you guys watched my fall vlog, that I got this because I wanted it so bad. And then Mallory got it for me for Christmas. So now I'm never running out of this mask and I love it, so good for me over here are like my sample masks like i told you guys that i got the sample of the glam glow mask the super med one and oh my god that hurts so does this mask this one this instant detox mask from caudile caudile i don't know hurts um this ole hendrix is like a walnut scrub and then this oh my god this is just like the um superman mask and then i just have like this night cream i don't even know what that is and then over here we have like fake sheet face masks so we have the bubble one two of these rose water sheet masks this glow gold one a random truth serum from ollie hendrickson this sh melting sugar neon vibes and then this like watermelon one and then like three of these like pink face masks moving on to these drawers right here and honestly guys i know sometimes i do get questions about my vanity and i've had this vanity since i was literally i think 13 years old so <laughs> it's almost been four years since i've had this vanity and no it has been four years since i had this vanity and so sorry i can't really remember where the stuff is from but first is the anastasia nicole guerrero palette oh my god i loved this to death i wish they would come back out with this i loved these two shades and then one day i was cleaning my vanity and this dropped and it broke and i was so upset about that and i love this palette so much then i had the anastasia just regular glow kit that's also really good because it reminds me of this formula i have the bretman rock babe in paradise one this is like 
a few years old, I think. Um, just getting this out of the way, I have some Stila eye shimmers. And then I just have this random, I think, yeah, Hustla Baby highlighter from Fenty. I use this a lot, actually. This has been my favorite highlighter lately. I've been using this every single day, and that's Champagne Pop by Becca. And, you know, I wanted Champagne Pop by Becca, and then I accidentally said Pearl, so I just have this, like, but I use this for inner corner highlights. It's beautiful. Also, got this e.l.f. blush again because I want to do affordable makeup, but it's literally, like, it looks like a blush. It's literally a highlighter. Like, watch. It's literally a highlighter, <laughs> and I thought it was a blush. I have some more Stila shimmers. I have a few of the Wet n Wild highlighters because you guys throw back if you were into makeup when these were like super duper popular and then of course would I have been a basic beauty person if I didn't have the MAC soft and gentle highlighter I think not I don't know the big hype with that let me tell you but and then I just have this random makeup revolution highlighter again I don't know why I have this Naked Illuminated. This is terrible. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys that it's not a good product. Then we have this glow kit, which is the sun dipped one. And a random pair of eyelashes and just the sugar glow kit that I was obsessed with. Still love this. Over here is my lip drawer. <laughs> I have this from Christmas a long time, uh, last year. Why was I about to say a long time ago? Um, of some stuff, you know, I love this set. I wish I would have asked for this this year because I love this set. This is how I get most of my lipsticks. Um, in this container, I have just random lipsticks. I have a Marc Jacobs one. If the lipsticks look expensive, just know I got them from TJ Maxx. <laughs> and some MAC ones. I have this YSL one that came in this. And I have a Kylie lip liner. These are like my liquid lipstick slash lip glosses. And then I have that Anastasia lip palette back there. Over here, this is like a whole nother video in itself. There's really even palettes back here. This is what I have collected the most of with my makeup obsession. And that is eyeshadow palettes. And guys, let me just tell you right now. This shade right here, I'm not going to do it because glitter gets everywhere, is so much better than I thought, as well as this, this, and that. Like, okay, I see the quality is good with that one. But yeah, if you guys want like an eyeshadow collection, then let me know. But this is just a video, like within itself. Down here, these are just like my hair tools, literally. All the way down here... These are also my hair things. So, like down here, I have this dry bar shampoo. I'm um, <laughs> hairspray that I really like. I have a bunch of mini. I have hair ties. Hair ties. Another thing of that Freeman mask. Um, my dry shampoo. This is my all-time favorite dry shampoo. And then I have the mini versions of that. I have this Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro. It's like hairspray that like makes your hair smell good. You know what I'm saying? If I'm scrunching my hair, I'm always using this because this was trending on TikTok and like I don't, I'm just basic basically. Um, yeah, that's like everything in there. So that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you guys liked me, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. I have been uploading every single day, no matter what. And I am hoping that I can stay this consistent even when school starts back up again, which school is starting back up in a few days. This break went by so slow, but yet so fast, and I don't want to go back to school. So, I will see you guys next time. Peace.